Hello and welcome to the web show of Todd. And today's uh, edition was to be the riveting conclusion of my reaction to Entertainment Weekly's 100 Greatest list. Uh, that's the 100 Greatest Things of the Last Decade. However, something very uh, important has happened. And uh, that's going to have to wait till next time because we need to tackle something. And this is serious. It's, this is not about comedy. Um, James Cameron, filmmaker, was quoted in Entertainment Weekly talking about his movie Avatar. Okay, And this is what he said. You pay very close attention. This is really important. He said, the movie does seem to sort people into those whose hearts are closed whose views of the world are effed up, and those whose aren't. I'm very glad he said this. Um, this uh, has changed my life. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let me try to translate for James. What he's saying is that if you did not like his movie about 10-foot-tall blue people who live on a glowy forest moon with a levitating mountain, then your view of reality is skewed. Your view of reality is erroneous. Okay? In other words, if you do not see the emperor's gorgeous new clothes and continue to insist that the emperor is naked, then you are a party pooper douche face cucka mouth. Cucka face. Cucka. That's what you are. And, and I'm telling you right now, ladies and gentlemen, James is right. Because when I saw Avatar, the first time I saw Avatar, the only time I've seen Avatar, uh, I, I got, honestly, I was kind of bored. I didn't get it. I did not get it. And then when he said that, I realized, oh my gosh, all I have to do to, to make sense of the world is to change my opinion about Avatar. So I did. I didn't see the movie again. I just opted to change my opinion about it. And then everything has come into focus. Okay, I mean, like last week, I had to go to the DMV uh, because it was my birthday and my license, uh, you know, expired. So I had to go get a new license and I didn't make an appointment in time uh, for my birthday. And uh, so I had to go and I had to wait at the DMV, which takes a long time. And in my old worldview, I would have been like, wow, this stinks. Why do I have to do this? I don't want to do this. But because I changed my mind about how I felt about Avatar, I realized, no. I'll be waiting two and a half hours at the DMV, sure. This is an opportunity for me to get some reading done. So I brought a book with me. If I didn't like Avatar, I wouldn't have done that. I wouldn't have thought to do that. And, and I got to the DMV, and there were like two or three hundred other people there, all waiting along with me for two and a half, three hours. And none of them had a book. I was the only dude with a book in the whole place. I can't believe it was a whole DMV filled with people who didn't like Avatar except for me. That was surprising. But in any event, I I won because I like Avatar. I won because I got some reading done at the DMV. I won. And you know what's even better, better than that? I found out that my backyard is filled with unobtainium. Seriously. I mean, I thought it was a, a, a structural problem when my garage started levitating, but it turns out I'm sitting on a gold mine. People, I'm rich. Well, not a gold mine, but an unobtainium mine. And, and not only am I rich, but I'm going to do my part to prevent genocide just by selling this stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, James Cameron has saved me.